Greenick. This is the year 2011, and the number 20 means redemption, and the number 11 means judgment. Listen, God is really speaking to the body of Christ right now, not just in America, but around the world. He said, the sands of time are running out. We are in the 11th hour. You know, what you do every day will echo in eternity. The number 11 not only means judgment, but it also means that God wants to bring deliverance. There is judgment that has happened across the land. And Ezra 3 decrees that it will happen in the house of God first. God is speaking right now to pastors, to evangelists, to the prophets, to the fivefold ministry, to the laymen in the house. We must be men and women of God that walk in holiness, that have integrity, that we have morals, where we are not lying, that we are not drinking, that we are not out. I, I'm just going to be real because y'all know who I am. But listen, we are in trouble because we have allowed for too long things to run in the house of the Lord that are not God. When you go in and read Ezra 10, it talks about the glory of God picking up and moving, picking up and moving, because sin was brought into the house. The Lord is allowing exposure right now within ministries. I believe that he's bringing exposure into every one of our hearts first, because God is a God of love. He is a God of compassion. But I'm telling you, sometimes we have allowed the sin to creep in even in the book of Galatians 5, it says you must be careful because a little leaven will leaven the whole lump. We cannot allow sin to come into our lives to where we don't even recognize that it's sin anymore. And so that's why I know that this year is a key because, again, 20 is to redeem. God wants to redeem back what we have maybe lost and he's going to bring judgment regardless. And so I just want to take a minute right now and I just want to pray. But Father, right now I pray in the name of Jesus that you will start to move on the hearts of your sons and your daughters and that you will remind them that you are almighty and that you see the things that we are doing. And Father, I know in so many of our hearts that we do not want to grieve you, Lord. And I ask right now, Father, that your mercy and your grace would start to touch the men and women that are priests within your house and that we would start to look within ourselves and say, Lord, this isn't right, this isn't right, this isn't right. And I know that I need to be held accountable. I know that I need to get my life right. And so we just want to pray right now, Father, that you will just start to move by your Holy Spirit. I tell you, I know right now that hearts are starting to be touched because you don't know how to get out of some of the things that you've fallen into. You know, it's really sad because alcoholism is really strong in the church. I know people say, well, you know, you drink, you shouldn't drink, you should drink moderately. But I'll tell you what, when you are in the house of the Lord, you have a responsibility. I really believe we're coming into these times again. And I think about Eli, and um, it's really, I, I feel like it's a mirror reflection right now in the spirit, because Eli had become so big and he had become so blinded because he allowed the blindness to come in. He allowed his sons to let anything come into the, God's temple, including the women, anything, the debauchery, the, the whoredoms, you know. And, um, and God is saying, right now, judgment has hit the land. And we have a time that he is allowing us to get our hearts right. For some of you that are dealing in pornography, you need to go get help. You need to not allow the Asher pole to come into your house and it caused so much devastation to your marriages, your children, your families, your ministries, your, your people. Um, it's really critical also because I hear the Lord saying, it's Isaiah 11, 11, and he gave me this word on January 1st, 2011, 11, 11. But Isaiah 11, 11 decrees he said, and one more time, I'm going to release my scepter, my favor, the king's authority favor God is giving on this land right now. Listen, a holy revival will hit not only America, but it's going to hit the world because the sands of time are running out. And we are in the 11th hour. And God says, if not you, then who? And if not now, then when? We'll re raise up a holy cry, a holy standard back into the nations, back into the pulpits. 
I want to just share this for a minute because it's really um, a key. But for a long time, people have asked me when the colors book, the numbers book was coming out. God is a God of precepts and he is a God of time. Even though the mediums and the astrologers think that they have this, they don't. Because God created time. He created the days. He created the numbers and he created us. And he has great destiny in store for each one of us. And I just want to encourage you today that you would just get back to the simplicity of who Jesus Christ is. You know, so many times, because um, I, I travel all over the world and I'm really blessed because I'm just a donkey that Jesus rides in on. But so many times I've seen so much and I, I grieve because I know the Father's heart is grieving for his sons and daughters and whew, I feel this wind even right now, I, I keep hearing it. It's like Rachel, she weeps for her children because they are no more. God is weeping for his sons and daughters. He needs us to get back at the altar. He needs us to get on our face, to fast and pray and cry out. Because God, even in his judgment, is a God that will bring correction through it. I remember being a child when I got in trouble. My mother and father always told me, they said, you're the only child we had that whenever you got in trouble, you always came and told us immediately. Sometimes I would go with a belt because I figured they'd just give me a whooping, you know. But I really never got that because whenever I got in trouble, I was the first one to tell the truth. I really pray that right now that God will start to move upon all of us and that if we're in trouble, we would go to God and say, look, God, I'm in trouble and I need your help. And I just bless you and I pray that God will move through this segment in you and for you. Because remember, what, what you do today does echo in eternity. God bless you.